Welcome to the first consumer product reporting tool for formulators, aka CPRTF, module. If at any point during the survey completion process, you have a question or require assistance, please contact the survey help box at 2023cpsurvey at arb.ca.gov. Companies who filled out the CPRT will have listed formulators who provided formulas for their products along with appropriate contact information. CARB staff will reach out and provide details on next steps to formulators once a responsible party has submitted their data from the CPRT. Formulators will receive a link to a secure and encrypted KiteWorks mailbox where they can download a customized version of the CPRTF. While KiteWorks accounts are not needed to upload files, they are needed to download files. However, formulators will be granted access to an account when a link to the CPRTF is sent to them. The formulator should expect two emails, one granting them access to KiteWorks and another where they can access the CPRTF to download. You should respond to the first email and make an account to access your folder on KiteWorks. Create an account to access the folder. Once you create your account, you'll get another email to activate it. Then you will receive a passcode to your email. Then you can sign in. You'll now have access to the folder where you'll upload your finalized data. But first we need to download the CPRTF. As you can see, it's not currently here, but remember I said you would be receiving the CPRTF in a message. So go back to your email. And you should have an email that looks like this, where you can access the message and there is an attached version of the CPRTF for your company. Now you'll be able to download the CPRTF. This pre-generated and customized CPRTF will contain only the products and formula names of the items that the company who filled out the CPRT has assigned to that particular product formulator. Please reach out to us at the Consumer Products Help Box if you experience issues or have any questions downloading the CPRTF. After downloading the CPRTF, navigate to it using your computer's folder system. It will be a .xlsm file with no need to extract or unzip anything. It is likely the CPRTF will have been downloaded to your downloads folder. The next step is very important for most formulators and is necessary for the CPRTF to function. In Excel, go to the File tab, then Options, then Trust Center, then Trust Center Settings, and then under Macro Settings, make sure you enable all macros. If the Trust Center banner is also displayed at the top of the Excel screen, you will also need to unblock the file. You may do this by right-clicking the file in File Explorer, then clicking Properties, 
Then under the security section, under general, make sure to click on block. One last thing to note, while you're working the CPRTF and you need to save any of the data you've entered in, use the save button on the start page. If you use the save button under file, it could possibly save the tool incorrectly. So for that reason, the save button here is more reliable. This concludes the CPRTF Getting Started module. CPRTF module two will go over how to enter information into the tool. Thank you.